My name is Eli Dershowitz. I'm from uh, Sherburne, Massachusetts. I fence uh, Saber, but as I take this year off to train for the Olympics, I'll be graduating the class in 2019. Uh, my brother started fencing at a camp uh, that he did over the summer and he liked it so he decided to try and find a club in the area. When I turned nine I decided I want to give it a try. Uh, I mixed it up with other sports growing up but when I got to high school I realized that uh, fencing was the only sport I wanted to continue with and uh, I just stuck with it. There's almost no two touches that are alike and no matter what you do your opponent can do something else and there's just so many different ways to win and score. The freeness of the sport uh, really, uh, really spoke to me. As a little kid, I was always growing up. Uh, I knew my coach had made Olympians before, and um, way back in the day, he was the U.S. Olympic coach. And uh, so I always knew in the back of my mind that hey, that'd be pretty cool. Until recently, I never really thought it was um, like something that could actually happen, at least in the short term. Uh, I always thought of it as something that I could do like further down the line or in the future. And uh, the last two years with uh, my training and my results getting better, I just thought that uh, if I took time off and I really focused on my training and uh, my practice, that I could uh, make the Olympics in Rio. Uh, the things I miss most about being on campus are just being with my friends 24-7. Uh, my three college roommates last year I got really close with. We were always hanging out, always having a good time. And now just being able to train full time and not be with my friends 24-7, it's kind of weird. In my event, we have Tim Morehouse and Daryl Homer, who both made the quarterfinals in the Olympics in London. And uh, people like this who are working so hard and trying to change the sport and try and change the way American fencing is looked at. Uh, they're very inspirational, and I've tried to learn from them, build upon what they've done, and just try and continue what they're doing and uh, build upon the U.S. fencing legacy and just be a part of it. I think Harvard has one of the closest, best teams in the country, and uh, I love being a part of it.